Hi everyone, welcome to this video sharing session, brought to you exclusively by Beam Clue. The purpose of this sharing session is to show you our Beam implementation experience. If you want to know more about Beam, please stay tuned with us for more video sharing. Today we're going to show you the connection of fire protection piping to pumps and fittings. Okay, first of all, refer to the 2D drawing. Looks like it is too simple and not providing us enough detail. Try to model it here. First of all, place the stainless steel tank on the plinth. We want to make a clarification here. This video is too short for teaching you to model each of the family I use today. If you want to know more, you know what you should do. Yes, like us, subscribe to our channel. A tip here, the panel size of stainless steel tank and fiber reinforced plastic tank are different. Okay, adjust the tank to sit on the plinth. Draw two pipes out from the tank to indicate as suction pipes. Adjust the pipe down to the suction level. You can also model a flange and connectors from the tank to have better model quality. Select mechanical equipment, choose the pump here. Copy another standby pump here. Okay, draw a pipe from the pump connector. Draw another common header pipe here to the pumps. Place a mechanical T here, the keyboard shortcut to pipe fittings is PF. Place another T here to connect to the tank. All these are custom fittings. Okay, go to the section view of the pump, we start to insert the fittings. Press keyboard shortcut PA, we can access to the pipe accessories list. Select the expansion joint or flexible connector. Hover the mouse close to the pipe, and click. The accessories will cut into the pipe. Net, we put the strainer. Using the same steps. Okay, draw a pipe up to the header. Press PA. Again, select the gate valve now. Draw a pipe up for outgoing.
Ops, a mistake here. Pipe for 50 mm diameter not supposed to use coupling joint. Delete and do again, we select pipe will groove joint now. Change to 50 mm pipe size. Press PA. Again, choose a stopcock here. Place it to the pipe. PA. Again, choose the check valve, put it to the pipe. Ok, now is the turn for the duty pump. You can just copy everything to here, but we going to show you again here. Draw an incoming pipe. Draw an outgoing pipe. Ok. This time we put the pipe's accessories in 3D view. Press PA, mouse hovel close to the pipe and click. We put the check valve here. The stopcock. The flexible joint. The outgoing also need a 50mm flexible joint. The strainer. Ok, you can see a small arrow here, if you click it, the strainer will change to another flow direction. Click again, will back to normal. A small rotation arrow here, is for you to rotate the accessory. Next is the gate valve. Ok, we place it here. You can put a T here to connect the pipe later. Finally, we place two gate valves for the tank. Here you go, tank, pumps, piping and accessories. Let's recap for today. Number 1. Today we learned how to model fire protection piping from tank to pumps. Number 2. We learned how to insert pipe accessories and fittings to the pipes. Ok, that's all for today. We hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to stay tuned with us for more video sharing. Beam Clue, we assist you in Beam.